Okay, and this one is just a, I'm going to go over a few basic operations in Outlook 2007. Um, a lot of these are going to be basic for a lot of you people, so you know uh, you may want to skip it, but uh, it may help some other people out. So what I'm going to talk about now is just the real basic creating folders for your folder structure. I, you know, I've always had a problem trying to figure out the best way to structure all my folders in uh, in Outlook, and I've talked to many different people, seen a bunch of different videos, talked, seen a bunch of different Outlook accounts, and kind of what works for me is this setup. Um, yeah, these are all your default folders that get created, drafts, inbox, junk email, and so on. I create one other folder to keep it clean called managed folders. Um, the reason I have a underscore in the front, which I guess I don't really need it at now, but is if I had more folders that will put this folder at the very top which I like to have so manage folders mean where I keep a lot of folders where I have rules and stuff set so some emails come automatically into these folders so if you expand this one I have a miscellaneous one where I just I put a bunch of I put a bunch of emails where um, if I don't really have a section for it and I just want to save it for like a reference or whatever I'll throw it in there um, computer services it's kind of like a side business I kind of do from time to time so um, uh, my dad Netflix shopping t6b and then websites where that's where a lot of my stuff is is set so there's a hosting company there's great shark um, and under great shark we have some other stuff uh, other things other subfolders uh, hosting hosting um, PC addicts just a YouTube folder and sock value hub and another site so um, the way to create these folders is depending on where you want to store it or put them where some people you can put them under the inbox section so if you right click on inbox you can select new folder and you go to you know name it whatever you want folder one hit ok and there you can see it's a subfolder of inbox um, that I don't care for so let's delete that one or if like you want a folder structure like mine you right click on personal folders click new folder and put in your folder um, wherever you want and see how it ended up down here that's why I put it there um, otherwise it'd be here and it's just it's easier and quicker for me to just look there so if we rename this one let's rename it with a underscore in the front you can see it brought it to the top Oh, you say you want it higher because it defaults it default sorts by um, by alphabetical order. So let's rename it. Let's add another underscore. Okay, that didn't do it. So forget that. Anyways, it uh, it's pretty simple on how to create folders. Uh, another one I like to one another little tip I use a lot is marking items as red. Now by default believe items get marked as red like let's say let's go to this junk email one here um, I think items get red automatically when you click off of the email I normally change it I used to, I've changed it a ton of different ways I had it where it would mark as red after two seconds after one second I ended up just saying okay I don't want it to change at all I want to manually set it so you can either right click on it click mark as red or since that takes some time let's go back and um, mark this thing as if I can find it uh, where is it okay where are you mark as unread okay sorry uh, what I like to do is a hotkey which right there you saw it here's here's your hotkey combination uh, mark as red control Q I use that all the time especially at work so right now I have a highlight I'm gonna hit control Q and it's done um, Oh, another one is these favorites folder, which is kind of nice to have if you want to clean up and be a little less stressed is add some things to the to the um, favorites folder here. So like, for example, let's say I had another folder where it's pretty busy and I and I want to keep an eye on it. And it's, you know, I have a rule set up to automatically put any emails that I get from, uh, I don't know, from my dad. Uh, I want them to be put in here. Now, if I have this all minimized, I'm not going to see right here that I have new emails waiting and where they're at. I can just send this one up. If you right-click on this one, I can send it to add to favorites folder. 
you see it got brought up right there so if I wanted to keep it clean um, you can easily access these folders right here uh, but I don't want that there so let's remove from the favorites uh, let's see An another one is the reading pane uh, by default the reading pane here is set to write now the old way of doing it the old way outlook used to have it and everything was on the bottom which I like this I, I've just until recently I've always used this way oops I guess you don't want to see that huh but um, now I don't know I, I started watching some videos and I saw a guy doing it where it looked pretty impressive where when you switch it to the right view reading pane right um, I don't know it, it it's pretty nice I like to see it looks like a piece of paper to me instead of just a half screen so I'm starting to use it on the right now you can use either one but I've, I've had a lot of people at my school district ask me oh my I can't see you know how come it's changed I can't or even it turned off for some reason maybe they didn't realize they turned it off and they're like oh I can't see the email anymore and all this and they freak out so if you just go in here view reading pane right bottom or off I'm using right for now uh, let's see what else we got here uh, and then you got your I don't know what they call these your navigation section but it's just a quick way to switch between um, your different sections and I think if there's a key combination yeah that's it if you hold down control and then you press one two three four five six and, and mail being one calendars being two context three and so on it'll switch between so if you're kind of a keyboard Junky. Uh, control one will give you mail. Control two will give you calendar, and then so on. Kind of a nice little quick way of doing that. Um, and I'll go into more detail about the range by and all this stuff, and some other tips, especially the calendar. Uh, you should see my calendar at work. It's pretty full. I keep very busy at work, but um, that's it for now.